Hey guys. So this is one of my favorite books from growing up. I just think it's so sweet. And I used to read a ton of these little golden books. You can tell it's a little golden book because it has a gold spine. And on the spine there are pictures of um, characters or things you may see in some of their stories when I was little, uh, probably a little smaller than you. I think I was around three. I used to tell people, I grew up on little golden books. And the joke was, I was about three, right? And so I wasn't quite grown up, but I was very excited to read these. Uh, today when I was reading with Tucker, shout out to Tucker. This was the book he had, The Pokey Little Puppy. And so I told him I would create a video where I was reading The Pokey Little Puppy and he could read along with me. If you also have a copy of this book at home, you could do the same thing. This book has long, long, long sentences and it has some tricky words. And so I thought, you know what? Let's just read it together. The Pokey Little Puppy. This page is hard to see, but it will get a little easier as we go on. And we know on the inside, our title page is going to say the same thing again. The Pokey Little Puppy by Jeanette Sebring Lowry, illustrated by Gustav Tengren. And here's our pokey little puppy here. And let's begin. Five little puppies dug a hole under the fence and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. I'm looking now at my picture and I see it looks like they are walking around and just kind of investigating the world around them. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill, one after the other. And when they got to the top of the hill, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four. Oh no, how many puppies did they start with? Five. Uh oh, one little puppy wasn't there. Now, where in the world is that pokey little puppy? They wondered, for he certainly wasn't on top of the hill. He wasn't going down the other side. The only thing they could see going down was a fuzzy caterpillar. Do you see the fuzzy caterpillar? He wasn't coming up this side. The only thing they could see coming up was a quick green lizard. Do you see the quick green lizard? I'm looking at the picture. This is probably going to help me read some of my words. I see four puppies at the top and one down low. But when they looked down at the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there he was, running round and round, his nose to the ground. Wait a minute. Round, ground, those two words. Rhyme. I wonder what he's doing. Hmm. I'm thinking about that. I'll keep reading and find out. What is he doing? The four little puppies asked one another. And down they went to see Roly Poly Pell Mell Tumble Bumble till they came to the short, oh, not short till they came to the green grass and there they stopped short. What in the world are you doing? They asked. Hmm. Wonder what he's going to say. I smell something, said the pokey little puppy. 
Then the four little puppies began to sniff and they smelled it too. Rice pudding, they said. And home they went as fast as they could go over the bridge, up the road, through the meadow and under the fence. And there sure enough was dinner waiting for them with rice pudding for dessert. But their mother was greatly displeased. She was greatly displeased. Hmm, I know if I say the word pleased, it means someone was happy. I say she's displeased. And dis kind of means not. So I'm thinking not happy. Oh no, mom was upset. I'm going to read that sentence again. But their mother was greatly displeased. So you're the little puppies who dig holes under fences? She said, no rice pudding tonight. And she made them go straight to bed. But the pokey little puppy came home after everyone was sound asleep. He ate up the rice pudding and crawled into bed as happy as a lark. Happy as a lark means, um, well, a lark is a type of bird. And do you ever see a bird in a bad mood? Not really. They're always singing and happy. So if it's happy as a lark, do you think that's pretty happy? Yeah, me too. The next morning, someone had filled the hole and put up a sign. The sign said, don't ever dig holes under this fence. But the five little puppies dug a hole under the fence just the same and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. No, I am just really nervous about what's going to happen now. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill, two and two. And when they got to the top of the hill, they counted themselves. Hold on. Don't read ahead. How many puppies do you think they'll find? Okay, let's read to find out. One, two, three, four. One little puppy wasn't there. Were you correct? If so, pat yourself on the back. Now, where in the world is that pokey little puppy? They wondered, for he certainly wasn't on top of the hill. He wasn't going down the other side. The only thing they could see going down was a big black spider. Yuck. He wasn't coming up this side. The only thing they could see coming up was a brown hawk toad. But when they looked down at the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there was, you think, yeah, the pokey little puppy sitting still as a stone. Still as a stone. Think about that. A stone is another word for a rock. The rocks move? No way. So if he was sitting still as a stone, do you think he was sitting very still or he was wiggling a little? I agree. Sitting very still. He was sitting still as a stone with his head on one side and his ears cocked up. What is he doing? The four little puppies asked one another. And down they went to see. Roly-poly, pell-mell, tumble-bumble. Till they came to the green grass 
and there they stopped short. What in the world are you doing? they asked. I hear something, said the pokey little puppy. The four little puppies listened, and they could hear it too. Chocolate custard, they cried. Someone is spooning it into our bowl. Uh-oh, I'm thinking about what happened last time. They were really excited to eat the rice pudding. When they got home, think about what happened. Let's keep thinking. As we read, I wonder what will happen next. And home they went as fast as they could go, over the bridge, up the road, through the meadow, and under the fence. And there, sure enough, was dinner waiting for them with chocolate custard for dessert. But their mother was greatly displeased. What does displeased mean? Pleased means happy. Dis kind of means not. She was not happy. Let's read it like we've always known it. But their mother was greatly displeased. So you're the little puppies who will dig holes under fences, she said. No chocolate custard tonight. And she made them go straight to bed. But the pokey little puppy came home after everyone else was sound asleep. And he ate up all the chocolate custard and crawled into bed as happy as a lark. The next morning, someone had filled the hole and put up a sign. The sign said, Don't ever, ever dig holes under this fence. But... Okay, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think he's going to follow directions? Let's see. In spite of that, the five little puppies dug a hole under the fence and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill, two and two. And when they got to the top of the hill, they counted themselves. How many do you guess they will count? Let's see if you're right. One, two, three, four. Oh, man. One little puppy wasn't there. Now, where in the world is that pokey little puppy? They wondered, for he certainly wasn't on top of the hill. He wasn't going down the other side. The only thing they could see going down was a little grass snake. He wasn't coming up this side. The only thing they could see coming up was a big grasshopper. I think this sounds funny. They said a little snake and a big grasshopper. I don't know. Is that funny to you? But when they looked down at the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there he was looking hard at something on the ground in front of him. What is he doing? The four little puppies asked one another. And down they went to see Roly Poly Pell Mell Tumble Bumble till they came to the green grass and there they stopped short. What in the world are you doing? They asked. Earlier he said, I smell something. Then he said, I hear something. I wonder what he'll say now. I see something, said the pokey little puppy. The four little puppies looked and they could see it too. It was a ripe red strawberry 
growing there in the grass. Strawberry shortcake, they cried. And home they went as fast as they could go, over the bridge, up the road, through the meadow, and under the fence. And there, sure enough, was dinner waiting for them with strawberry shortcake for dessert. But their mother said, so you're the little puppies who dug under, who dug that hole under the fence again? No strawberry shortcake for supper tonight. And she made them go straight to bed. But the poor little puppies waited till they thought she was asleep. And then they slipped out and filled up the hole. And when they turned around, there was their mother watching them. What good little puppies, she said. Come have some strawberry shortcake. And this time, when the pokey little puppy got home, he had to squeeze in through a wide place in the fence. And there were his four brothers and sisters licking the last crumbs from their saucer. Dear me, said his mother. What a, po what a pity you're so pokey. Now the strawberry shortcake is all gone. So pokey little puppy had to go to bed without a single bite of shortcake. And he felt very sorry for himself. And the next morning, someone had put up a sign that read, No desserts ever unless puppies never dig holes under this fence again. Oh, goodness. What choice do you think this pokey little puppy will make? Will he dig a hole again? Or will he choose to stay in the fence so he can have dessert? Who do you think is the best choice? I know I love dessert. I think I would stay home. Thank you guys for reading this book with me, The Pokey Little Puppy. I hope you enjoyed it like I did. Bye!